Hi, Jim Gore from Thor Wealth Management. Some people are saying, are we gonna have a Santa Claus rally? And I would not be surprised if we do, which means the week between Christmas and New Year's that the market goes up, especially since in the month of December, the market is already down more than 6%. I would not be surprised to see it up a little bit. But really what's more important is looking at longer term. And there's a strategy that is called sell in May and go away. And if you look at this chart here, this is looking at returns of the stock market. And this is looking from May to October, the stock market in that time period, you sell in May and come back in the beginning of November, the stock market in that time period is only generated a 2% rate of return from 1990. However, from November to April, it's generated a 7% rate of return for the S&P 500. So this is one of the things that people are saying, hey, sell in May, go away, come back in November, put your money to work. And this can all be explained by flows and I'll get into that in just a little bit. And the flows are very important because imagine if you're at an auction and you're at an auction where there's only three people bidding on an item. There's a good chance you'll be able to buy that item at a cheap price. However, you go to an auction where there's a thousand people, what happens? The prices go up and it's actually better for the sellers. Same thing for the stock market. In order for the stock market to go up, you need more buyers out there. So you need more liquidity into the market. And that's something that may not be happening this year as people expect. And let me explain why. So what happens here, and I've been doing this for over 30 years in the investment business. So what do I believe is the cause of sell and may and go away strategy? Well, first of all, is as I mentioned, flows. Flows coming from quarterly estimate taxes. Anyone that knows that is paying quarterly estimate taxes, they're due on April 15th, June 15th, September 15th, and January 15th. There is a time period, as you can see, from April to June, that you have only two months to where you have to come up with your quarterly payment. So anyone that's making those payments knows that all of a sudden, geez, I gotta come up with cash within two months. I don't have the lead time of three or four months. And so what happens is you're not investing that money. That money comes out faster. This could be part of the reason why in June and in the summer, the market's not doing well is because the flows are not coming into the market. Same thing is looking for September 15th or January 15th. You got an extra month to pay, pay your bills uh, for, your, for your quarterly estimates. So what happens is you got more lead time so you can put more money to work into the market. So more money is flowing into the market in that time period. Money is flowing out of the market from April 15th to June 15th. And this goes through my experience of 30 years with clients seeing that actually happen when clients need to make their quarterly um, uh, deposits to the IRS. Another thing is if you look at liquidity from 401k plans, a lot of times, People make their 401k plans, and we've seen this, either they front load it, that means they, in January and February and March, they put more of their contributions to get their 401k up to the limit, just do it right away at the beginning of the year, or we've seen the opposite. They wait throughout the year, and then they put it in all at the end of the year. Now, this is something that could co cause a problem this year. Why? Inflation is up, consumer is hurting, they don't have as much money. So, are people gonna go ahead and put that catch up at year end? Um, in my uh, opinion, with the way the economy is and individuals worried about maybe their workforce and the recession, people aren't gonna be taking that money and putting it to the market. Same thing on uh, what, what's happening with uh, year end bonuses on the next point, on point three. Um, at this time of year, people get uh, tax refunds uh, starting in January and February. Um, and that's why the market does well in January and February, money's coming into the market and also year and bonuses. However, with this year, what's happening with the economy and people are more fearful, you can see that with consumer confidence, people are not putting that money to work into the market. Also, their cost for living has gone up, whether it's heating bills, uh, food bills. So are they gonna take that tax refund and go ahead and invest in the market or are they gonna pay off their credit card bill that they've been bu building up for the last several months because they can't afford the items that are out there. And the last thing, I think this one could take a little bit more research, 
Um, but I think that what's very interesting is what's happening with pension funding. Um, here again, keep in mind, the market in order to go up needs liquidity. So individuals are not putting as much money into their 401k plan. They're not going to do their tax refund or bonuses as much into the market. So that dries up liquidity into the market. Then you have pension plans. And I think this is very interesting. As I say, it could take a little bit more work on when those flows are actually coming to the market. But what we saw after COVID is companies had a lot of money. And what they did is they fully funded their pension plan. So if you look at this, this is looking at the fine benefit plan, corporate pension plans. And you go back to October of 2010, most corporate pension plans were only 85% funded. Well, they put money to work during COVID and the market went up. And what we saw is right now, they're about 113% funded. What does this mean? This means two things for the stock market. One is pension plans are not gonna to contribute to their pension plans because they don't have to. So that's less money coming into it. And secondly, and we have evidence from talking to our investment managers, pension plans, because they're more funded, they're overfunded right now, they tend to get more conservative and they lock in the rates. So what they're doing is they're selling off their equities at this time and actually buying fixed income instruments and locking in these long-term rates to meet long-term obligations. So money is coming out of the stock market from the pension plans and they're protecting themselves from the future. That is gonna be a big drain on liquidity. So we have less liquidity coming into the market from uh, individuals because of you know taxes, because of uh, you know their bonuses and they're worried about their economy. They're not putting that money to work into the uh, stock market as much. And then we have less money going into pension plans that are not gonna be buying stocks and they're gonna be selling less stocks. So the sell and may go away. Now keep in mind, it's only been for less than 100 uh, price points, may not work this year. And that's part of the reason why the stock market is not going up as people expect. It all comes down to flows on that. There's one other thing I just wanna to touch very briefly on that some people are asking about is the presidential cycle. Now the presidential cycle is saying you can make more money in certain years when the president is in office. So this is going from 1933 to 2015. And if you look at this, the third year of a presidency, you, you can see stock market returns are significantly higher, 16.3%. Major, major caution here. Keep in mind, even though this is 80 years, this is each of these uh, uh, cycles, each year only has 20 data points. So anybody relying on this, should have their head examined because anyone relying on just 20 data points to make a long-term investment doesn't make sense. What's more important is what the Federal Reserve is doing, uh, what our economy is doing, and what corporate earnings, and that's a real key, corporate earnings, are they gonna be able to keep them up in a recessionary environment in order to justify these high prices? That's to be seen. So we're gonna see next year uh, what happens with this, but don't rely on this sell and may go away this year because things are certainly different. If you have question, any questions or concerns, as always, reach out to us on our website, thorwealthmanagement.com, or give us a call directly. Look forward to talking to you in the new year in 2023, and I hope you have a great holiday and a fantastic New Year's.